Hello again everyone, I'm Bethany Cheshire and I work with the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Have you ever been in a dust storm? They seem to come out of nowhere and they can completely block out the sun and the sky. They usually occur during dry seasons in areas with strong winds. The Dust Bowl was a period between 1930 and 1939, sometimes called the Dirty Thirties, where massive dust storms happened all the time. At this time, the southern Great Plains region and parts of the Midwest were severely drought-stricken. The high winds accompanying this brought the dust storms. But what caused the Dust Bowl to happen? One factor was certain federal land policies that put land in the hands of new and inexperienced farmers. The Homestead Act of 1862 provided settlers with 160 acres of public land free of charge. This was later amended to double the acreage. The Kincaid Act of 1904 was passed in Nebraska that put land in the hands of people as well. These acts were passed as a result of manifest destiny, the belief that Americans had a sacred duty to expand westward. This also brought about the belief of the rain follows the plow, which was the idea that farming would permanently affect the climate in the Great Plains and make it more conducive for farming. Another factor was changes in regional weather. A series of wet years led to misunderstandings in the region's ecology and created the incorrect belief that the area was easy to irrigate. The final factor that led to the Dust Bowl was the farming economy. From 1910 to 1920, Wheat prices were on the rise because of World War I. This encouraged farmers to plow millions of acres of native grasslands in the area to plant more crops. But when the Great Depression hit, the price of wheat plummeted, and farmers tore up even more grasslands in an attempt to harvest enough to break even. Without the deep roots of the prairie grasses there to hold the soil down, it began to blow away with the wind, causing huge dust storms. These massive storms were called black blizzards, Sometimes the winds were so strong that the soil would coat ships in the ocean off the east coast. Billowing clouds of dust would darken the sky for several days. The worst occurred April 14, 1935, known as Black Sunday. Twenty of the worst dust storms blew all the way from Texas to Canada. Three million tons of topsoil was estimated to have blown from the Great Plains, destroying farmlands and flattening homes. People outside could catch illnesses such as dust pneumonia, which caused chest pains and difficulty breathing. So did anybody try to help? Well, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt worked to relieve some of the strains from the Dust Bowl in the New Deal. He created the Prairie State Forestry Project to put farmers to work planting trees for windbreaks. Also, he created the Soil Erosion Service, known today as the Natural Resources Conservation Service, which implemented new farming techniques to combat the soil erosion problem. Many Texans, from cities like Dalhart, Pampa, Spearman, Amarillo, and Lubbock, lost their livelihoods during this time because of crop failure and terrible living conditions. Texas, Texans, along with many others from Great Plains states, moved to find better living conditions and employment. Roughly two and a half million people left these states in the largest migration in American history. Millions of Texies were left homeless, facing discrimination, menial labor, and poor wages where they lived in shacks and tents. Regular rainfall returned to the Great Plains in 1939, ending the Dust Bowl. However, the economic effects continued well into the 1950s. But while the Dust Bowl was a period of great tragedy, it did lead to the creation of some great American art. John Steinbeck's novel of Mice and Men and the Grapes of Wrath contributed to his Nobel Prize in Literature in 1962. Photographer Dorothea Lange is known for her works documenting the consequences of the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression. And singer Woody Guthrie wrote, the, wrote a whole album called Dust Bowl Ballads during this period. Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about Texas and the Dust Bowl. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for this and other history and science videos. And if you have an idea for our next video, leave it in the comments below. See you next time.